Is it starting? Okay, so I don't know. Do you think I speak bizarrely? Oh, you have it on? Yeah. Show me. Oh, it's show it. You don't have space here. It's really hard. It's so painful. You don't understand. I spent the night looking at a busy lining up. So, I mean, honestly, in my field, especially, like, you know, in the world of high-end design and high net worth individual, networks are the key. One time you said, you know, why didn't you start, you know, in Paris? The reality is, in those circles in Paris, it's either, you know, your dad, your grandfather, like your family overall had a network of high net worth individuals and that yourself you were in those networks of high net worth individuals and then easily you can get your first client because imagine, I don't know, like the best friend of your father owns a 500 square meter apartment in Champs-Elysées. 90% of those top design offices come from aristocratic family, like whoever has founded the design office comes from, I don't know, very bourgeois aristocratic families and their network was already there. You know, it's not like they struggle to enter that and like, no, my parents are like academist, very non-materialistic. Like, you know, I graduated from one of the top schools in Paris, yes, but even in my school, there was two, three people that was obviously were coming from like, you know, very wealthy families, industrial families, and they knew everybody in Paris. So for them, it was like, yep, I'm gonna graduate and I'm gonna it's have my up. first client. I did manage to penetrate, I feel, the very high net worth individuals in Saudi, industrial families. Also, it wasn't easy, but I guess me being a foreigner, me being French, opened a door and then, then the first client opens the door to the other. So I think this is the key. It's like, how do you get the first one? But even so, you know, like, I just feel the power of network is just everything. What bothers me, like, even in the Middle East, I should be going to all the parties and all the awards and but I hated that like for me because it's so not genuine but then what do you do about it? I hate it too like I that. really hate it and I can't force myself to be honest I don't want to waste my time not being authentic in my work you know? do you take it personal? no I just think it's unfair because this is when you realize that skills okay See, not that skills do not matter, but network matters more than skills. Like, you know, there's so many talented people on this planet, but they don't necessarily have a network. My strength is I know how to talk, I know how to convince people. This is what I was telling the girls, you know, I was like, introduce me to a lead, I will convert that lead into, yeah, into a you client, just need you know? That. But yeah, so this is, this is the power of network. As I said, like, you know, when you actually dig into who made it and how they've made it is just because very often they were tightly bound to somebody who was able to push either by birth, you know, either by marriage, either somehow in the very beginning of their career, you know, like Marry well. <laughs> this is Get what Mode said, sure like daddy. Nina, forget it, just go marry awesome. like, you know, somebody in finance that's a multi billionaire and then that's it, you know, Trust like in this world of like extra extra luxury you know like I remember very well a couple of even up to date you know I told you so many times I enter a place with like ripped jeans I don't care this is people this is how they judge you saw it yourself the past three days people come to you I'm like who is this homeless you know like so so yeah I mean it's it's very much like this in, in Europe very much like this and I don't even want to describe when I was young and when I was like 24, 25, forget it. People would not even answer my questions. So what's the conclusion? You're gonna get yourself a sugar daddy or are we gonna no. this company happening? 